well, if we can't use DDT, what do you suggest we do? That's, you know, usually the question. I mean, we've got to kill these pests. We have to kill, kill, kill. Um, but there's no reason to think like that. And um, there's actually some pretty interesting work going on. And to give you a glimpse into this, uh, another clip from uh, Carl Zimmer's book, <coughs> Evolution, The Triumph of an Idea, and uh, Possible Solutions. Check it out. Instead of eradicating diseases, Ewald argues we may have much more luck trying to domesticate them. It wouldn't be the first time we've domesticated natural enemies. Wolves have been harmful to us throughout our evolutionary history, says Ewald. But we've been living with some wolves which have evolved into dogs. Instead of harming us, they now actually help us. I think we can do the same thing with these disease organisms. Domesticating parasites is not as hard as it may sound. To domesticate plasmodium, the parasite that causes malaria, people may need only to put screens on their windows. Unable to sail through open windows, the mosquitoes that transmit plasmodium cannot bite as many people in a given night, slowing down the transmission rate. If a strain of plasmodium is adapted to kill its hosts quickly, window screens will put it at an evolutionary disadvantage because its hosts will die before it can infect someone else. Gentler strains will outcompete the harsher ones, and fewer people will die of malaria. When it comes to disease, evolution has been working against us for millennia. It's about time we harnessed its powers.